he make just because he can be successful? He can be an impact player. He can pull the point on a double team on pass rush, getting his big old hand up. He can, you know, interfere with pass rush lane. So, you know, he he's in a position where he'll have a direct impact on the defense. When you guys play up tempo teams, mm -hmm. can you see him playing that many snaps? Oh, you know, we're, our offense is up tempo, so we're training them to play that many, and then when they don't, it, you know, it'll be uh, a break. If that makes sense. What would be a good snap number, snap count number for him any given Saturday? Uh, 40, 40, 40, 50. Coach mm -hmm. Jancic just said that um, Dan McCullers still struggling to be a solid third down guy in there on the line for you. What's holding him back? Is it a conditioning thing? What do you think? Well, it's a conditioning thing for the entire defense. You know, uh, third down is the money down, we call it. And obviously, Big Dan is carrying more weight. So yeah, he has to learn how to be effective uh, on those critical downs. And then I think Coach Jones said yesterday, or maybe it was Saturday, that um, Big Dan, when he turns it on, he's mm -hmm. really destructive in there. Yes. Does he still have a motivation problem turning it on or turning it off, or does that go back to the conditioning? Uh, it's not a motivation problem. He's like anybody. Uh, when your buttons get pushed a certain way, then you respond. So he's just got to learn to do it more often. <laughs> so. so Coach Jones was riding Jackson Carr a little bit earlier today. Did you see him respond toward the latter part of practice? Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, I think the freshmen are freshmen. This is the end of camp. You know, a lot of the things that they were doing early, they've now experienced the grind of a long long camp, so I think it's been hard on them. So I think he's putting pressure on young men that I think will really contribute to us in the future. You may have been answering this as I walked up, but yep. Butch identified Corey Miller as somebody that stepped up from a leadership standpoint. And, uh, what has he done, and, and is it change now that he, he knows the first couple of games he's he's really going to be under the gun with, with some guys out. Well, I don't think so. Corey's always been a great kid and a great leader. What Corey really brings to the table is versatility. He can play different spots. He's involved in special teams. He's always energetic. He's always high energy. So that's what he's bringing to the table on top of being a good player. You know, when we're fighting through these dog days and we're talking about playing tempo offenses where extended reps, extended drives. He's one of the few that can just continue to show some, some sparks, some energy, some outward focus. Talk about the camp Jordan Williams has had and what he brings to the table. Yeah, Jordan, I think, is a young man that just continues to progress. Um, you know, I think he has athletic ability, and I think what he brings is a little more effort. And he has that juice and the stamina and the conditioning maybe more so than, than a lot of the guys. If you had to line up today, would be would he be at an end maybe opposite of Corey Miller? He would. Coach Jones mentioned the other day not being good enough on defense on first and ten. Mm -hmm. What is your defensive line going to do better to be more productive? On the first well, I think first and ten, you know, we set a goal of you know holding the run to four yards or less sixty five percent of the time. So you know we uh, had some first and ten situations in the scrimmage the other night, Thursday night, or what well, was it, Saturday night? Yeah. And so you know we know we're not good enough. We weren't really like less than that. So I, I think part of it is what we call FBI football intelligence. And for a defensive lineman, he needs to be able to go up there on first and 10 and know if it's run or pass. And we're just not to that point yet. A good defensive lineman goes up there, he knows it's run, he can prepare himself. He knows it's pass or play action. So right now, we're, it's a little bit of a mystery down for us. So we just need to uh, increase our football intelligence, increase our repetitions uh, to get that down. How far along are you in that progression? I mean, how far are you? Well, in the entire camp, you see what I, what I've continued to see, and I pointed out to the D line is, there's the first time I saw that. You know, it's something you've talked about, something you've actually drilled. All of a sudden, boom, it shows up in the scrimmage. But that's the first time I've seen it. So almost every day, there's one of those firsts. That it might be a technique, a pass rush technique. It might be identifying a back set, anything like that. But I say, hey, guys, it's the first time we've done that. So it's a journey. We're still going down that path. Yeah. We got one.